Hi guys, Deb Acker here. And so it has been a, quite some time since I've reached out with a newsletter. So when I went to go to start to write this newsletter, all I felt within me was that I needed to do a video. That's the exact picture that I got. So I wanted to do a video sharing a story that really emphasizes the practice that I've been putting into place during these times. And I just wanted to come on video and say hello and just, uh, just bring some energy into our community um, and share just a little bit of myself. So many of you guys know I'm extremely adventure oriented. I freaking love adventure and I lean into it at all times. And while we tend to think of adventure in our society a lot of times as travel or doing something, you know, like jumping off a cliff, right? I have also found a way and, and an excitement in when we are really feeling our feelings, right? When we are really doing the deep work, that to me feels like the same level of adventure as if I'm traveling, right? Or as if I'm jumping off a cliff or jumping out of an airplane. But the story that I really wanted to share with you today is around the fear of heights that I have when I do those kinds of activities. And many of you guys know I have skydived and hang glided and zip lined and bungee jumped and that's not even all of the things that I've really leaned into with that fear of heights. And no matter how much of the time, you know, there's all this fear that comes up in my body, right? And oftentimes before I, uh, you know, go into said activity, you'll find me basically as low to the ground as possible as if there was, I wish, I always wish that there was like handles on the ground, right? But, um, which there's not, I don't know why they don't do that, but there's not. So in any case, a lot of times, you know, I'll have that fear coming up and then I'll just do the activity. So over the years, and this has been a really intensified practice for me right now, but over the years, I've really started to really practice and lean into that feeling and that trigger that comes up when we're facing a hard moment. So yes, that could be around fear now, whether it's uh, you know fear of jumping out of an airplane or it's some other kind of fear, but it can also be a trigger that we're experiencing when we're in relationships, right? Either our partner or a friend or a parent is bringing something up within us or we are interacting with someone, a stranger, maybe on social media, right? And that energy, that feeling, that anger is coming up within us. And the practice that I really wanted to share with you today is really getting really, um, instead of running away for it, from it or kind of finding ways in your world, right, to uh, uh, really, you know, avoid it in some way, right, or to escape from it or to sort of just kind of move on with your day. If you can get as present with that as possible and start to rewire your body to hold more capacity for that feeling, that's when it starts to shift. That's when life starts to become easier. So I really wanna emphasize this and I shared the story of my fear of heights because part of what I was doing sort of subconsciously and less intentionally in those moments was that I was in the practice of really rewiring my cells to hold more capacity for my fear of heights, right? To hold, it doesn't mean that that fear of heights went away. It's, um, I'm still waiting on that universe, <laughs> placing my order, but it doesn't mean that it went away. But what it does mean is that I'm holding more capacity, right? It starts to release, it starts to get more expansive. And with that, it starts to get easier. And all of a sudden, that thing that we are resisting starts to become a little bit fun. We can play with it, right? We can have more of an interaction and a relating of playing and that adventure versus, oh my God, I'm gonna tense up and I, I do not wanna experience this and I'm gonna do anything in my power to experience this. So I just wanted to come on again, share my energy with you and just share a little bit about what, um, where, you know, just to really say hello and where I'm at on this journey. And so grateful for you watching and I hope this tool supports you. And if it does, um, you know, and you're watching this on YouTube, definitely feel free to comment below um, on how you're shifting your practice and or how it's impacted you. Thank you so much for watching.